you're the alpha, you don't have to announce you're the alpha. Right. You just it's show up as the alpha. Yeah, yeah. And and the alpha, by the way, in every tribe, from animals to humans, is usually the person the most who's most quiet. We up here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm out here with the special guest, Gara. Check out our boy Gara. This boy is still available. Sheesh. Look at this boy, man. He's fucking clean, homie. He's gonna be chilling with me today as I make this video. I got a feeding video for you guys. I'm gonna be feeding them duck, duck, goose. 95% poultry, bone, and organs. So it's got everything you need. You got this at Mud Bay, which is like, um, I don't know if they have this in all the other states, but in Washington, it's kind of like a, more of a luxury type of pet shop. You know, maybe not luxury, but it's like a smaller chain compared to like PetSmart or, um, you know, whatever there is out there and shit. He's excited. He's excited to be out here and kicking it, I think. He wants to explore everything. And uh, he's banged out, man. He's, he's ready, man. He's ready to go to his new home, protect that yard and just put in that work. But, um, man, what a G straight up, man. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this boy. Straight up. Everything. Everything. He's got it all. Boom. I'm going to try to have him chill with this little llama. Llama versus, llama versus Gara. <coughs> Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? And yeah, I'm dealing with that puppy breath and controversial point of view. It's not cute. It don't smell good. None of that. I don't like it. But the, the dog is cute as hell. So yeah, I got some, some gloves. By the way, you guys, these gloves are actually pretty expensive. Well, they're pretty pricey. Not expensive, they're pricey. You know, it's expensive is, everybody's got their own point of view on expensive, right? And the reason that I'm putting these on today is because I'm gonna break up these patties that I had falling already. They're from this bag, Stella and Chewy's. I guess it's gonna be sort of a review, you know? It's, you know, not the same for every dog, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it out for my pups and see how they, how they react to it, whether they gobble it up or whether they don't. I know they're hungry and I'm gonna bring them all out and I'm gonna show you guys how they do with it and what they do afterwards, whether they start peeing and pooping everywhere, which I do gotta put down some pee, -pee pads. Relax, homie, relax. Look, at, look what I got right here. What do you think about this? Let's see, let's see what he thinks about the smell. Do you like that? He's licking it. So we'll put this in here. So yeah, the reason I have the gloves on is in case, you know, a little homie starts to get really crazy and I have to go and catch him or whatever. My hands aren't covered and I can just take the gloves off. I'm gonna do three patties, which I think is a little excessive, but I do have bullies. So again, we'll see how they do with it, whether they finish it, whether they don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, I have a bunch of adult dogs that are ready to gobble up whatever's left over. But look at Gara. Gara's enjoying it. And that makes me happy because Gara is the smallest dog from the litter. Gara is available. He's a mm -hmm. sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. I love him. I love him. Um, inspired by the show Naruto which you can catch on Hulu. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know where you can catch it at. Uh, it's kind of my son's thing, you know? But look at him, he's he's loving it. So yeah, I'm really interested to see if these dogs are able to start like really chewing it up. Most of their stuff has been more liquidy. This is a little bit more condensed and solid. Nah, but this is exciting, honestly. Like I said, my, my pups are barely five weeks old and you know, going from the process of just being on your mother's titty to start devouring food and, and watching them go from crawling to opening their eyes, reacting, like all those little things, man. It's, 
it's really fun. Life is life is a beautiful experience. You know, a lot of you guys know that if you have kids or whatever, or you have dogs at home. Shish. Fucking uh, three patties is it's a lot. Also, yeah, what do you guys think about this bowl? It's from Mad Cow. Um, we're not sponsored by Mad Cow or anything like that, but they've definitely provided a good service to us as far as their bowls. And I think we have actually some callers from them that are pretty dope. What can I do to set myself apart, you know? I wanna obviously provide some type of value and I wanna know where on the scale I fit in and it's not easy to figure it out. A lot of it is just getting started, you know, and that's pretty much what I'm doing here and that's what I have to offer. It's pretty much the beginning process for you guys to be able to watch the stages. So I just busted out all the puppies, brought them out. Most of them peed where they were supposed to. Our girl Luna did not. As you can see, this little piss thing right there, unfortunately. But you know, we do what we can and we try to give the dogs as much space as we possibly can. But at the same time, not too much. Um, one of the reasons I had Gara out there with me is because this is normally the story with him. He normally gets pushed out for some reason and can't find his space in there. You gotta remember we used three patties. Gara, as usually, struggling to get in. He knows I'm talking about him. But they're loving it. They're loving it, as you guys can see. That's Obsidian right there. This boy is also available. Merle Coat, obviously won't come cheap. Has a fire pedigree. He's an excellent boy overall. But ever since they were on their mama's titty, this boy's always been sort of excluded when it comes to feeding time. But he's also extremely active and he, he goes for it. He doesn't stop. He's also one of the more playful ones. He Another thing I want to say about like excuses, yo, I have kids. And sometimes it's hard to make videos, you know? I have my daughter right here all the time and she be bugging, bro. She be bugging, she needs my attention 24 seven. Yes or no, mama? You love your daddy? She the besito for papa? Mm, you know? So sometimes it's kind of complicated, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoa, look at that bull. Look at that bowl. You guys went in, homie. Hey, I want everybody to take their shits right here on the pee pee pads. I see some stuff happening over there. Yo. Yeah, they squashed the ball already, mama. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Those are some wild dogs. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do about that? One of the things I wanna do is provide value, okay? And so this is what I'm gonna tell you guys right here. Here's a secret that's gonna save you a lot of money. The cute puppy stage, it will pass. These dogs, they piss and they crap as if they were babies, okay? I will say this though. If you got a couple K to play the game, it's absolutely working, bro. Come on, homie. Who does not want a badass dog like this in their yard? You tell me. You tell me. What kind of bitch made motherfucker doesn't want this on their yard? This ass that bully club, homie. We're not asking for permission. We're taking over. Gang, gang, dog. What's up? Y'all watch Ryan? Tell them, mama. Tell them I don't want to hear no more. No more. Tell them to be quiet. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, mama. You tell him, mama. You tell him. Yo, you guys, you guys have all been fed. You've all been taken care of.
this is the finished product, you guys. This is after all that eating. Stay solid, nigga. Some of us gonna make it, some of us ain't. That's just how it gonna be.